up in the Punjab United documentary, episode four. Punjab get back to winning ways. An incredible comeback. and an unfortunate way to end the season off. In the last episode, Punjab United picked up a defeat to Holland and Blair, a draw to Tower Hamlets, and a 7-0 defeat to Beckenham Town. This made them drop down the table, but wanted to get back to winning ways and get on some good form. And that next game was against K-Sports. So, Punjab United have a corner here. Steve will be able to whip this one in. As a header, the keeper can catch it. Two headers and a goal. Luke scores to make it Punjab United 1. Will now is in the box, looks to have a shot, which he does. The keeper makes a good save, but Jaden on the follow up makes it Punjab United 2. K Sports nil. Luke then scored to make it 3-0 to Punjab United. And George with a lovely turn past the defender and slots at home to make it Punjab United 4, Ken Sports And we wasn't done there as Jaden whips the ball into the box and it goes in 5-0. So it's full time and it's Punjab United 5. K Sports nil. Everyone was happy and they wanted to get back to back wins in their next game. Yeah, I demanded a reaction to be honest. And um, I said to the boys, we need to sort of really step up now because when you're giving teams a chance and uh, when you're not playing well, we're carrying passengers. I've had enough of it. So, you know, I said, whoever's not going to run and whoever's not going to put a tackle in, whoever's not going to work as a team uh, member, then I'd rather not have them here. And um, I warned them before that game that, you know, changes will come if I can't keep looking at this team saying, I'll give you another week. And um, to be honest, they came out on fire. So the reaction what I wanted was great. Uh, we played some good football. We were quick. You know, I think the score could have been 10, you know, and that would have been undeserved, to be honest, because I thought we were that good that night. And their next game was against Canterbury City, a team who ground shares with Faversham Town. So Punjab United on the attack, it falls to Luke as he shoots yeah, and he scores to make it Canterbury City nil. Punjab United one. So Punjab United have a free kick, it is whipped in, someone gets their header on it and it is Canterbury City nil. Punjab United two. Going into the second half, Canterbury City have a free kick and they score to make it Canterbury City one, Punjab United two. And Canterbury City got their equaliser. A ball was whipped into the box. It was cleared away in the end. But a lovely touch and a lovely overhead kick into the goal. Canterbury City 2, good job United 2. George was looking to get the ball here as he makes a challenge. But the ref fought different and he gave out a red card. And good job United were down to 10 men. So Canterbury City are on the ball here, on the edge of the box, they have a shot and it goes in, it is Canterbury City 3, Punjab United 2 and the comeback was completed. So it's full time and it's Canterbury City 3, Punjab United 2, a very disappointing performance for Punjab United but they wanted to get back to winning ways in their next game. You know, I've got to defend the player. You know, I, I don't think it was. It was definitely a yellow. It was. It was definitely a yellow. I, I, I don't think. You know, seeing that the way that the um, the when we looked to appeal it and, and we saw the video evidence, it's innocuous. It's it's clumsy. Uh, I won't say. You know, well, I can't say anything more than that. But it wasn't that there was malice in it, which which warrants a straight red. Uh, okay, I was so glad. Um, I think I flipped at the end. Uh, you know, in the change room. I, just just couldn't believe how we lost, you know, from totally outplaying, you know, I don't think they, they touched the ball in the first half, you know, but we didn't finish them off again. We're two new up though, our defence should cope, you know, and I think Paul and a few of the boys at the back took a big brunt of my frustration out at the end. Um, didn't like the fact that we kept dropping off uh, as a back four, 
And that's what got them into the game, really, because when we were on top we and we were higher, we were excellent. You know, we should we should have been 5 0 up, but as a front line in midfield, if you're giving our boys a two goal head start, our defense to you know go and cope with that, uh, it's just terrible. And to lose again last minute 3 2, you think, well, how the hell did that happen? You know, so next up for Punjab United was a game at home against AFC Crow for Athletic. So around two minutes, Crowbar Athletic take a shot and they score to make it 1-0. Luke now whips a ball into the box. It is headed. There's a shot which goes wide. However, another shot from Steve. He shoots and it's a great save from the keeper. So we're looking to get the ball into the box now, which we do. The keeper punches it away. We look to whip it back in there. He heads it in. There's a shot. It's saved. Another shot and... A great save from the keeper to keep it 1-0. So Punjab United with another shot and the keeper tips it onto the bar and it is eventually cleared away. So it's full time here and it ended Punjab United 0, Crowbar Athletic 1. At Crowbar again, we same what happened with uh, Canterbury, you know, we were slow to start, got caught. Um, I had a lot of injuries that day. I think I had five or six players out. Uh, it was raining. You know, we could have called it off. It should have been called off, but we didn't because, you know, boys wanted to play. They wanted to play. So we just got on with it, really. And they had one shot, one goal, you know, and it's just one of those games where <laughs> everything we hit went wide, um, chance after chance. But uh, yeah, we, it was just going to, it was one of those games. And if we could have carried on for another 90 minutes, we wouldn't have scored. Um, and yeah, I think he's just finished there. That sums up our season up to then. It was, you know, I said to him at the end, we've just been, we're on one minute and we're off the next. We just haven't got a medium. Until we get that medium, then you'll see this type of Punjab team really, really go um, and push up this league. But where you're winning one week and you're losing two, then you're going back and winning another two weeks and you're losing back again. That's what's costing us. And since we've been in step five, that's what's happened with us. We've just let ourselves down. So yeah, but it's down to me to um, get the players in who can do that uh, for me. And, and and this is the way football clubs work, you know. We've got a great squad. The boys are uh, not, you know, we've been good at the end. So I think the boys are now know exactly how we want to be and what we want to do. And yeah, we'll, we'll go again. After the Cobra Athletic game, there was some terrible news as Punjab United's season was over. The league was curtailed and was declared null and voided. Yeah, I think, um, look, it's hard on everyone. Um, I think, to be honest, I, you know, I, I stopped the start of this league ain't great. But yeah, you know, everyone's half and stuff comes first, which you will understand. I think as soon as uh, this lockdown is ended, um, I've said to the boys on the call the other week, is that I'm hoping, they're saying the end of Easter, that will come out of lockdown. That means we're, we're out of train. Uh, the list, the league's going to be off. We will know that no matter what votes are on about. There's no way this league will carry on. I can't see it. Um, what I've said to the boys is I'm sure all the other teams will be up for uh, friendlies and training. So what we're going to do is train, start training straight away. We're not going to have a break. This is everyone's break. Normally we have May, June off. Um, we won't have that this year. And we'll get everyone back early and we'll start playing friendlies and getting a game in every week if we can. And that will keep the boys ticking over till we start in August. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan is to continue playing and training every week. But we look back at some of the best bits of this season. I've been flying from town to town, from